All right, hello guys, my name is Lazaro, and today we're going to be doing an easy lead code problem. This one is called max consecutive ones. Given a binary array, find the maximum number of consecutive ones in, the, in this array. So as we can see in the input, we have one, one, zero, one, one, one. And by consecutive, they basically mean they're all together. Uh, they're not broken apart. So here the answer is three, because this these three ones, they're together. If this zero was a one, then the answer would be six. Then they also have an explanation right here. The first two digits or the last three digits are consecutive ones. And then the maximum, the maximum of those two groups is three. All right now, a little note is the input array will only contain zero and ones, uh, AKA the binary array. And the length of an input array is a positive integer and will not exceed 10,000. Cool. Uh, so basically that's just talking about the length of the array pretty self-explanatory all right so that's a problem now let's get into the logic behind it all right so solving this problem is actually pretty easy what we want to do is just count how many ones we've seen and then keep track of the biggest one or of the biggest group of ones so right here in the beginning if we were to iterate this from left to right we will go I've seen one one and then here I've seen two ones then once we get to zero we kind of reset the count so now I've, I've seen zero ones because remember they have to be consecutive so if this is zero let's just restart and now once we get here we see we say I've seen one one and then I've seen two ones and then I've seen three ones so now we just take the maximum what's greater having seen two ones or having seen three ones Obviously, the answer is we haven't seen three ones. So now let's write that logic out. So this is our given array. And another variable that we're going to want is our answer, of course. Right, let's initialize our answer to zero. And then as we go through this array, let's update our answer to the, big, to the biggest group of ones. Another variable we're going to want is count. We want to keep track of how many ones we've seen or how many ones are in our group. This count is basically doing what we did here. One and then two, then zero, and then one, two, and three. The count is these numbers down below. All right. So now, since we know we need to iterate through this array, we need a for loop. So for every element in the array, If the element is equal to zero, then we want to reset our count. We want to reset it by setting count back to zero. Else, let's say the element was not equal to zero, if it was equal to one, for example, since that's the only other option, we want to increment count. plus equals one. And now if our count, it's greater than our answer, current the, which holds our current largest group of ones, then we want to update answer. And then finally, outside of this for loop, let's just return answer. So let's work through this. So we, be, we start the array and our first element is zero, is one, I'm sorry. It's one right here. Is it equal to zero? It is not. Instead, it's equal to, uh, it's equal to one, so we increment count. Our count now becomes one. And then this if statement, is count greater than answer? Well, one is greater than zero, so it is. Then we update answer answer is now one next we go to the next one which is also a one and we do the exact same thing increment count count now becomes two and since two is greater than one we also um, update answer to equal to our count but now we're at zero at zero 
what we're doing is we're resetting count. So now count goes from two to zero. And zero is not greater than two, so this if block never runs. And our answer stays at two. Next, when, once we see another one, we increment a count from zero to one. And then one is less than two, so answer is not updating. Now we see another one, and our count now becomes two. Two is not greater than two, it is equal to, so this if block still does not get run. Now we see our third one, and our two updates from two to three, and three is greater than two, so we could run this block, and our answer gets updated to three. And then finally, since we've seen every single element in this array, our for loop right here finishes, and we return answer, which is equal to three, and that's the correct one. So this is pretty fast and pretty simple. Now let's write out the code. Whoops. Okay. So right here. So our answer is equal to zero and our count is equal to zero as well. Now we want the for loop. So for elements in nums, if that element is equal to zero, then what we want to do is reset count. Else, if for example, it was equal to one, then we want to increment count. And now out here in the bottom, we check if count is greater than ants. If count is greater than ants, then let's update ants to equal to count. And we're done with the for loop. Now let's just return ants. So let's run this. Okay, it works, and now let's submit it. Perfect. And that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this, then make sure to join our Discord channel, which will be linked down in the description. Uh, we send out daily advanced and beginner problems. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and have a good day.